Hi, I'm Stuart, and I'm here to talk to you about the tyranny of master passwords. Password managers use these so-called master passwords to encrypt all of your other passwords, as well as your two-factor authentication codes and other secrets. And since password managers promised to handle all this information for us, many of us welcomed these master passwords with open arms. But since master passwords are used as encryption keys, they must resist offline guessing attacks. So your master password must be a genuinely long, random string you've never used before. And yet, if you forget this master password, you could lose everything. Now, most humans can learn such passwords if given 30 training sessions, but password managers give you one shot, and you may still forget your master password if you don't keep using it frequently. In short, users are being set up to fail, and they're being set up to take the blame for that failure. So when you're asked to create a master password, you may find yourself wishing you were on one of those game shows, you know, the, the ones where if you don't know the right answer, you can say, Mark, I'd like to take the physical challenge instead. Well, if you're calling me Mark, I'd agree you should avoid tasks requiring mental acuity. Why don't you take this nice pretty bag of dice and shake them? It makes a nice rattling sound. Ooh. Now roll them into this box. Messy, but not game show messy. Now put the lid on the box and lock the dice permanently into place. Ooh, that makes a pleasing sound. That's your key. Keep it to yourself and don't lose it. <gasps> Look at all those letters and digits. Now let's use this dice key with a password manager. When I'm asked for a master password, I click on a link which takes me to the dice keys app. I scan my dice key, the app derives a master password from it, and I confirm that I want to send it to the password manager. And when my master password is needed again, I can rederive it from my dice key in the same way. Other apps can also ask the dice keys app to derive cryptographic secrets. You can use the same dice key because the dice keys app won't reveal the dice key itself. Dice keys are kind of similar to passwords in that you can read both dice keys and passwords with your own eyes, as can anyone who tricks you into revealing them. And while dice keys do require extra hardware, in return you get error checked reading from physical media, a longer lasting storage medium, and a key that's really, really hard to guess. In fact, there are so many outcomes of rolling a dice key, as many as there are atoms in thousands of solar systems. And don't even think about trying to build a computer that large because, spoiler alert, things will not end well. So perhaps a dice key is more similar to the objects we typically think of as security keys. They're also something you have and can lose, though dice keys aren't tamper-proof or easy to attach to your car keys, they are something you can make a backup of. They don't have circuits that degrade over time, and you'll be able to read them long after USB-C has gone the way of SCSI. Better to think of dice keys as something you use rarely and can keep somewhere safe, and those other keys as something you carry every day. And you'll soon be able to use your dice key to seed the keys you carry with you including those made by solo keys, so that if you lose or break one, you can replace it with a cryptographically identical replica. If you are a security researcher and would like to study dice keys, we have a supply we can provide at no cost, so long as you will be sharing your research at no cost. And you could investigate ways to improve the usability of the hardware or of the software, as well as ways to ensure, ensure users understand the product's risks and can protect themselves from attacks. If you're interested, please drop me an email. Thanks for watching, and thanks to everyone who has helped out with Dice Keys.